A new multi-million powered education centre is set to provide state-of-the-art facilities for law, business and screen students at Liverpool John Moores University. The £37.6 million Redmond's building has been more than two years in its construction and was designed by a former LJMU graduate. It's, it's very exciting actually to, to come back to Liverpool. I've, I've been gone for about ten years and uh, it's nice to be back in the city and uh, good to be working for the university. Was there any extra pressure in uh, having to deliver for, for, for your, your old tutors? Um, a little bit. I think it was. Uh, I was quite intrigued as to what they were going to think of the design when we were, when we were bring, bringing it forward. And uh, I gather you had to, as part of the tender process, actually pitch in front of an actual former lecturer. I did, yes. Uh, yes, Ian Root was on the interview panel when we, uh, we came to be interviewed for the, for the project, yeah. Fantastic. Well, you must be quite proud with the, uh, the, 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 the finished product. Yes, delighted. It's, uh, it's been a yeah, four-year project for, for ADP and, uh, and uh, yeah, we're delighted with the finished, finished product, yeah. The intention of this building is to provide a contemporary building for academic delivery. Uh, the building's been designed to actually accommodate three schools, the School of Law, the School of Business and the Media School. The intention is to provide a contemporary environment where students can actually thrive when, when working on their programmes. The development actually represents £33 million worth of development for the university based over a four-year period. Um, the facilities range from a screen school state-of-the-art editing suites, lecture theatres, IT facilities, and, more, and as importantly, a lot of social learning space for students to actually work in. We're, as, a, as a business, we're keen to, to boost uh, social uh, regeneration and, and employment um, in, in local areas. And we, set up, we, we set about a, a social regeneration plan right from the very offset, uh, right from the very start of the project, to boost employment. And all through the project, we We've been taking on apprentices, we've been taking on people for secondment, uh, linking in with uh, Liverpool Community College, um, working right across the city to, to, to boost employment. This, this building and the overall property development strategy, clearly it's positioned itself very strongly in the marketplace. Uh, the university is um, charging £9,000 fees. Uh, it's going to become a very competitive marketplace. Students are going to become very demanding. Um, and clearly we believe this facility will actually meet their aspirations and exceed their aspirations when they actually walk through the door. The, the end of the first phase of the university's property strategy, we embarked on this strategy in 2002 uh, and we had an aspiration to redevelop the university's estate. At the time we had somewhere in the region of 40 plus buildings, we've substantially reduced that number now and we've created what we believe is state-of-the-art university. Uh, we are providing services to 24,000 students and the property strategy wasn't just about actually delivering modern state-of-the-art buildings, it was also about redeveloping our existing property portfolio and ensuring that every student had the same experience no matter what building they actually walked into.